George Gollop Park is located at the southeastern end of Forks Township and consists of 30 acres of the Paxinosa Ridge on Winegate Mountain. From the parking lot at the end of Paxinosa Road East, continue on foot as you pass a few homes. The views of Forks Township are far and wide up on this ridge, but before long, you will reach your trailhead. Further into this walk, you will have a choice of two separate trails. George Golub gives it 25 acres on Wine Gate Mountain in 1984 to Forks Township to be used as a park for hiking and picnicking. The sign reads George Golub Park, dedicated to the sanctity of all life. Once you have passed the wooden sign, look for the Y in the road and take the path to the left. This will take you to St. Anthony's Nose Overlook. After the steep descent, you are rewarded with a spectacular view of the Delaware River below and across to Marble Hill in New Jersey. The outcrop of rock we are sitting on is known as St. Anthony's Nose. In the late 1800s, trolley cars were a popular mode of transportation. The Winegate Mountain Railway added the heights of College Hill in 1887, extending the railway up Winegate Mountain. You can almost sense them as you walk their route. The land atop the hill on the right of this trail was formerly the Mann Farm. David W. Nevins, Easton's former mayor, purchased the property in 1887. On July 3, 1888, the Paxinosa Inn, named after the Shawnee Chief, was opened on the extreme summit of Winegate Mountain, 1,000 feet above the Delaware River. The original hotel could accommodate up to 350 guests. The Paxinosa Inn was built as a beautiful mountain park of 100 acres with only a two-hour railroad ride from New York. During the prime years of the Paxinosa Inn, getting there was said to be part of the joy of staying at the inn.
Pak. The Paxinosa Inn burned to the ground in 1905. It was rebuilt bigger and better than before, advertising the new inn to be fireproof with the use of bricks instead of all wood like the first Paxinosa Inn. And then, in 1931, it too burned down. The pillars found in this field are remnants of the pavilion at the Paxinosa Inn, Easton's famous hotel that burned down not once, but twice. Reading from a postcard that was sent from the Paxnosa Inn, it reads, quote, In the way of amusements, there is everything that can be possibly desired. A first-class orchestra furnishes music on the piazza, lawn, or ballroom during the day, giving a superior concert during the dinner hours and in the ballroom evening for dancing. A magnificent new road has been completed from the city of Easton up to the hotel. Between 1880s and 1900, the population of Easton doubled from 11,000 924 to 25,238. The 2010 census has Easton population at 26,800, not too far off from the turn of the century. Well, that's our hike. As always, check for ticks and shower upon your return in case you've come in contact with any poison ivy. George Gala Park.